Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Trip. Welcome to another Top 10 list. This time, we're going to one of my all-time favorite shows, if not my favorite show, Smallville. The story of a small-town farm boy named Kirk Kent, who's not from around here, who grows up, is coming into his story, growing up into the person, the man, he was supposed to be. I love this show. Tom Redding played Kurt Kent excellently. Um, John, uh, the man who played Jonathan Kent was a great person. So was um, Martha. All cast so well. Michael Rosenbaum, who played Lex, was excellent too. Lana Lang, Kristen Kirk, um, Chloe Sullivan. I don't know if I don't, I don't know if they added Chloe Sullivan or Chloe Sullivan is a part of the small, uh, part of the Superman. Backstory, I don't know, but whatever it was, whether she was added or whether she's a, a different one, great character, played by Allison Mack. And then as they went on and they added the characters, uh, Erica Durance as uh, Lois Lane and Justin Hartley as Oliver Queen, Oliver Queen, uh, Green Arrow, um, and the other superstars who played the other the other characters and the other villains and everything like that. Just such a great show, great show. Uh, it used to come on TNT a lot. After after uh, after it went off of, off the air, it was it would be on TNT, and then TNT was taken off. I guess because Hulu bought the rights to it. Now it's on Hulu. So, um, yeah, and because of my cousin, now my mother and, and my mother has an account on Hulu, and I can go back and actually watch Smallville. And so you know that's gonna be awesome. Um, but yeah, we're here talk about the top 10 episodes in small in the in the history of Smallville. I think you guys are going to enjoy these. If you have any thoughts, make sure you post them down below in the comment section. But until then, here are the top 10 Smallville episodes. Number 10, Smallville's series finale. So this is a two-part episode, part one and part two. So we're going to combine both into one right here because you, you can't watch one without the other. So on these two-part episodes, we're going to combine all of them. So the series finale, obviously, was it was what we were all waiting for. To be honest, season ten was a bit was a was a, not a bit was probably one of the it was probably the worst of uh, the entire. Thing I, I don't know if they decided to you know uh, you know I, I don't know if they decided to you know like, like stop it or or you know, you know to just quit on, on on things or if it just what it was but season ten was not what it should have been season ten should have been the best season you know it's you know it should have been filled filled with 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 such with such greatness and 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 things like that I, but. It really wasn't all of that. Now, don't get me wrong. The episodes were they were they were anywhere from you know okay to average to good. You know, none really great. I um um unless you're talking about the finale. The finale was great for a myriad of reasons. Not only are we you know getting the end of Dark Side. Not only are we you know you know seeing as much as we can of of Clark Kent becoming Superman. Um, not only are we getting some 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 uh, some callbacks to certain things, and and you know from past Zod comes back and very other other things we we're getting. Uh, Granny Goodness is in is in is in thing, and some you know other disciples of the uh, of the uh, I don't know what, what would you call it. Uh, disciples of the apocalypse, I guess, but whatever it, you know, whatever it was, that finale sure was great, and it, and with the wedding and everything, and it's just all of it was just what it needed to be, and that's why it's number ten on this list of the top ten Smallville episodes of all time, the series finale, number nine, season two, episode sixteen. Fever. 
Martha is seriously sickened by meteor dust, and Clark and Jonathan desperately try to help her. But when Clark comes affected as well, he finds out just how vulnerable he can be. Only a miracle can save Clark and his mother, and the amazing secret she holds within. Meanwhile, Lex confronts his feelings for Helen, recurring guest star Emmanuel Wagner, and she considers an enticing out-of-town research position. Chloe and Lana cope with the unthinkable possibility that they may lose Clark forever. That is the uh, synopsis of the episode, but it, it is much more than that. It is, again, just something that is just incredible. Um, well done, you know, back in you know, back in the in the beginning, uh, at the end of season one, the the, the, the they, they they put the ship together and or I don't even know if it's maybe at the, maybe it's the beginning of season two. Who knows? I'm not I'm not certain, but you know they put the thing in and apparently the ship heals Martin Martha and then she becomes pregnant. So she's pregnant in this episode. That's the secret that they're talking about and and so everything like that and then you know the 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 cdc comes and takes everything they take the little key you know johnson has to break in uh in, into the cdc to get it um clark sick as hell helps him out chloe professes her love for for uh, for clark but he says you know he he's when she when he, when he you know when, when she does it he calls he's calling out for lana so it's uh it's just everything it's just it's just a falling off from top to bottom a fantastic episode and number nine on my list of Smallville top ten episodes of all time number eight season three episode eighteen truth synopsis when Chloe accidentally inhales a mysterious gash. She discovers that it gives her the ability to get the truth from anyone who comes in contact with her. And she goes to the kids to find out Clark's secret. However, her new power is not without its consequences, and Clark must find an antidote before she discovers too much about him, or worse, dies. And again, the synopsis, I'm reading the synopsis for you so that you get a gist of it, but the synopsis do not give you the, it doesn't give you the whole effect of this Episode there, there there is a there's a there's a point in this episode when you know you know she's working with Clark at the at the at, at home and Martha comes home and she you know Clark goes out to get the groceries and Chloe starts talking to Martha and Martha just starts spilling everything talking about how Jonathan feels like crap and you know and she's worried he's not gonna be the man that he was and. She's talking about that she thinks it's Clark's fault, and then she talks. She mentions that his biological father is the reason why he ran off the the summer before. And Chloe's like, "You found your biological father, and you didn't tell me." And it's it's just maybe one of the greatest scenes in, in the history of the show. And you know, so and then she you know she gets she finds out that she gets the information from. From from Lionel Luther about how he killed uh, his father, how he killed his father to get the the thing and everything like that. All leads down to the end of the season when they 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 they're, they're able to find that uh, you know that audio or the, at least the remnants of that audio and he goes to jail. So and all of it is just there's some great stuff from this in this whole season. One of the season, one, of the, one of the best seasons is season three. Uh, and this episode is one of the big reasons why. Number eight, on top ten, Smallville episodes, season three, episode eighteen, Truth. Number seven, season two, episode four, Red. When the school unwittingly uses red meteor rocks in its class rings, Clark experiences a new meteorite effect. Stunning his friends and family as he becomes a rebellious and dangerous teenager who uses his powers for benevolence instead of good. Jonathan and Martha scramble to find an explanation for Clark's behavior before he uses his true identity to the world, or exposes, excuse me, his true identity to the world. Meanwhile, Lana is drawn to the new Clark who openly declares his love for her. So what happens in this episode is you know Clark finds the red meteor rock and he he uses it uses it loses his inhibitions he becomes more willing to say things he wouldn't say in the past he 
more willing to do things. He wants to expose, you know, his secret to Nalana. He's, you know, doing things for, for, you know, going on dates with, with Lana, and he's taking um, Lex's cars. And at one point, he even dresses like Lex with the the long black trench coat. And Lex is like, "What's going on here?" So, yeah, it's again, it's a great one. They have to use the green meteor rock to, to you know, it's, you know, to get the red meteor rock away from from Clark. And at one point, you know, it's Pete. You know, Pete. You know, he gives his he he gives his um. Now Pete realizes what's happening to Clark, and he goes and tells the Kents that what's happening. So, yeah, it's uh, it is what it is. So, um, but it's a it's a fun fun episode. See the the the, the crazy side of Clark, and it kind of shows you um as as he comes in and and the other thing one of the things um about this is that when he gets uh, uh, older. And he comes into more contact with with red um, um, kryptonite. He becomes even more um, loose with his inhibitions and loose with his thoughts and everything like that. Uh, it's, and it's something that you're going to really, really want to um, enjoy. So, um, number seven, season two, episode four, red. Number six, season four. Episode 22, Commencement. Clark discovers the reason he was sent to Earth after a nightmare foretells a horrible event about that's about to befall Smallville, and he visits the caves to seek answers from Jarrell. His biological father tells Clark he must reunite the three crystals immediately, or an enormous disaster will devastate the planet that even Clark won't be able to stop or survive. Meanwhile, after finding Lana with Genevieve Teague's dead body, Lex helps the team escape Smallville then take shocking action to get one of the crystals away from Lionel. Realizing the elements are connected to Clark, Chloe tries to stop Lex from discovering the truth. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know if that's necessarily, you know, the fact. I don't know if Chloe realizes the elements are connected to Clark. But what what basically what happens is that Lana, who, who who several times in season four was possessed by an evil witch named Isabel, and Isabel wanted those stones. And Isabel, more important, Isabel wanted revenge on the Teagues, um, the Teagues' ancestors for burning her at the stake, and she got that revenge by taking one of the stones that was given to her by Jason Teague, her boyfriend, and she kills Genevieve Teague. And and that 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 is what causes the the horrible event, which is another meteor shower. And and everything and and they um and everything like this is to say, you know, Lex helps her, but then at some point, you know, you know, he, he, Clark does have that nightmare. He goes and tells her, uh, Jarrell tells him that, you know, blood is on one of the stones. He's got, he has to reunite them, or it's going to end the earth. And he goes off to do so. Lana gives him the stone that she killed him fatigued with, and then he goes, he puts that together with the stone he already has in the cave. It makes a noise that leads him to the stone, which is which, which was activated by. Well, no, no, no. This, well, here's what happened. When he he had already the stone. When 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 he went to the cave, and put the stone that he gave with, uh, that the Lana gave him with the stone he already had in there. Um, uh, it uh, it it activated the third stone, which. Lionel had, and that put him in a in a coma, but is in, in uh, kind of in a in a Kryptonian coma. It basically gave him all of the knowledge of of Clark and everything like that. Although, you know, with, with, you know, with the story that you know, you know, the story they told, it is who knows, you know, what it, you know, what it is. But you know, you know, because because sometimes their stories would go one way and it would go another. You know, because at one point, you know, 
you know, th you know, they have it as if Clark, as if Lionel, you know, doesn't know what Clark is or who Clark is or anything like that, or or he has some type of you know theory that he's trying to figure out or something like that. Uh, but then later down the line, they say that Lionel knew he knows about you know Clark, and he knows that he was there to. You know he, he he was there for good, and he was there to protect Clark, along with along with the Teagues and along with a few other people. They, they, they called in the group they called themselves Veritas, I believe, it, 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 whatever it was. But so I'm not sure, but whatever. When it comes to this episode, um, the 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 when, he, when Clark unites the two stones, it it, it it activates the third stone, which gives him a gives a high off a high pitched tone. Which Clark can able to, to follow and get the stone, uh, you know. And L Luther has it in his vault, and Clark is there. But also there is the the, the some meteorite mass, and the, you know. So he falls ill. You know, Chloe is there looking for Lana, and she pulls out. You know, she pulls she pulls Clark away from the thing, and that leads a whole to the thing where they go, the Lex gets upset because the stone is gone, she thinks Chloe has nothing to do with it, they take Chloe to the cave, and then, you know, Clark puts all three together, and, you know, by the beam, by the boom, he makes his fortress, yeah, great episode, <laughs> the season, it was, it was that year's season finale, and what a doozy, number six, telling the top ten episodes in the history of Smallville, Season 4, Episode 2, Commencement. Number 5, Season 4, Episode 17, Onyx. Synopsis. A glimpse of the future Lex Luthor is revealed after a kryptonite explosion splits Lex in two, and his evil side, Alexander, is released. Alexander immediately imprisons Lex in the mansion and begins his rampage by attempting to ki kill Clark and Chloe in the lab, jousting with Lionel and convincing him to turn to the dark side, and finally threatening to close the talent unless Lana moves in with him. Yes, this is a fantastic episode. I think this... I at one point said that this should have been the, the way we came to the Lex Luthor that we now know, instead of the way they went about it. The way that they went about it, it almost made it seem as if it was Clark's fault, you know, that, you know, that, you know, the reason why he became the way he was was because, you know, Clark wouldn't, didn't, didn't, get, didn't, didn't let him know about his secret, you know, being from another planet, or that he didn't, you know, or that he didn't, he never believed in him in his ways of trying to be a good person. You know, he did you know, all of those things that the reason why he became who he became was because of Clark. And you know, and not because of, of, of the, what was inside of him. Right? And I, I thought that was kind of I, I thought although that's a good bit of storytelling, I don't think that's the story that they should have told. You know, I think I I would have liked it is it like right here, if 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 this happens and Alexander kills the good Lex, right? And then what they could have done is they they, they, they could have had the Alexander pretend to be the you know the other Lex f for seasons, and then maybe something then, and then maybe something like in season five or season six, maybe at the end in, in, maybe at the end of season five, we could have found out that a year ago. The actual Lex was, you know, we find out, maybe, maybe we find out from some DNA, you know, thing, or we find something. We find out that, you know, Lex Luthor, you know, was, you know, the real Lex Luthor had died, and this is a new Lex Luthor, another Lex Luthor, you know, and then he becomes the Lex that we all know and hate and everything like that. I think that's the way they should have went about it, but this one was it was a great one. I I, I love the I love the part where he shoots uh, Jonathan in the knee and he says, "I am the villain of the story." Oh, again, just great acting, Michael Rosenbaum. I I, I know I, I I think he doesn't look fond. He doesn't doesn't look 
fond upon his time as Lex Luthor. I think he's one, he's one of these actors who doesn't want to get pigeonholed as just one thing, you know. You know, but all the work that you do, you know, over time, and you're always, and you're only going to be known for one. He, I think he's one of these actors that doesn't that didn't want that. He didn't just want to be known for playing Lex Luthor. He wanted to be known for for doing other things and. So, you know, he left after season six. And I think that, that, that was unfortunate because I think and he, he you know he was a he was a fantastic character. Uh, he played he played Lex Luthor very well. He may be he may be, in my opinion, the best Lex Luthor there have ever been. So I I I just I just truly love it and enjoy it. Um and yeah, and he was also doing some other things too, you know. There was an episode which I which I considered, I considered for this list, um, where Clark and and Clark and, and and Lionel switched bodies. When Lionel was in prison, he used one of the stones to 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 transfer switch bodies with with Lionel, and and uh, and so Lionel was in Clark's body. Clark was in Lionel's body, and when they switched back. Um, not only was his liver disease gone, but his his overall thinking was changed, and he was now a different man. You know, whatever was the goodness that was inside Clark had changed Lionel for the better, and now Lionel was a different man. But then, at, but in, 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 but then this Lex Alexander had forced uh, forced uh, uh, Lionel to turn back into that evil son of a bitch that he had been in the past. So. That was, that was that was another unfortunate thing. Although again, Lionel, you know, when when, when he was you know infused with all of the Kryptonian knowledge from commencement, you know, he did and once again he did change. Uh, basically, he did change. He did become more of a more more of an ally to Clark than you know foe. But he was still basically you know you know. A, 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 as he tells um, Clark in season, the season five finale, he tells Clark, "A hey, um, um, you sometimes you have to do a great evil for the greater good," and that was and that was his and that was his mantra throughout the entire um, entire season of uh, uh, entire show of Smallville. So, uh, yeah, so. Um, Number five, season four, episode seventeen, Onyx. Number four, season nine, episode eleven, Absolute Justice, parts one and two. Synopsis: A man named Sylvester Pemberton tracks down Chloe and tells her he knows about her team of superheroes and needs their help. However, before he can explain who he is, he is attacked by Icicle. Clark and Chloe's investigation leads Clark to the former headquarters of the Justice Society of America, where he meets up with Nelson, aka Dr. Fate, Carter Hall, aka Hartman, Hart, Hawkman, and Courtney, aka Stargirl. Courtney pleads with Hartman and Dr. Fate to help her catch the killer that is targeting their group, but they are reluctant to resume their duties as superheroes. Clark, John Jones, Green Arrow and Chloe team up to help the GSA stop Icicle before he murders another member of the group. Meanwhile, Lois receives a package from a mysterious agency called Checkmate, won by Amanda Waller, guest star Pam Greer. So this is, I think, is epic. I think this is one of the most. This is one of the epic episodes they've done. Again, this is a two-parter. Um, so we're gonna we're just gonna have all we're gonna put both parts into one uh, deal here. Um, yes, and I think what I like about it is it is the team up, right? It is the team up, and they do another team up later on, um, in which Hawkman and later on I think in season nine when uh, when uh, when when um, when uh, when season is it season nine or season ten? It's one of those. It's one of those episodes, season nine or season ten, when um, when Hawkman passes away. I think I think maybe season ten. 
Um, and Hawkman passes away. Uh, they do another one of those big team ups. And they do another one which is actually coming up in the next few things. Can you guess which one it is? The first team up of, of, of this kind on Smallville. And um, now we see, you know, with the Arrowverse, there are team ups all the time. But um, it's because so many different shows. That's neither here nor there, though. Um, but this was fun. Uh, John Jones had lost his powers at some point, got the fate restores. Uh, the, uh, John Jones Martian powers um, Green Arrow like I said he's he's up there it's just so great Icicle is is not the the, su the super villain that you think it would they would be but it was it was there uh, he was he was there for this episode and he was good enough to take down um, not only Sylvester Pemberton but then Doctor Fate as well um, so it, it was it was truly amazing. Um, such a great episode. You'll love it. It's the, you know, gives you that justice society, justice league feeling that you that you would love to hear about and love to see. Especially if you are a a, a fan of that 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 era of, of comics, uh, something that you enjoy. So number four is season nine, episode eleven, Absolute Justice, part one and two. Number three. Season 4, Episode 5, Run. Synopsis. After Jonathan's wallet is stolen, Clark uses his super speed to chase after the thief, Bart, aka The Flash, but is stunned when he cannot catch him. Bart visits the farm and tries to persuade Clark to leave Smallville for a life on the road together, flexing their superpowers. Meanwhile, Lex buys a priceless frame manuscript with the Cretonium signals. And Clark learns that a mysterious hidden it's a mysterious hidden map. However, when Bart steals the manuscript from Lex, he inadvertently puts Clark's life in danger and must make a decision to save Clark or himself. So what happens in this episode really quick is is that actually there is a thing where um there's a is a crash and um, Jonathan is getting ready to to go to, you know, and, and Jonathan is actually saved by Bart, but Bart also steals his wallet. So Clark tracks him down and, and tries and tries to chase him, you know, because he, th he, th he thinks he's just an ordinary media freak, but he's not. Uh, and and he, and he fails, finds out that it's, it's just, bam, and he goes all the way. He's faster than him, and he goes back to the house, and he, there he is Bart. You know, after talking to him, they found out that Bart, you know, we you know, you know, we get the story of the Flash. And he tells him that there was a lightning strike and flash lightning and boom, all of a sudden here he is. He's, he's, um, he get the super speed and, you know, he tells him that his parents didn't want him afterwards or, or did he say that or did he say that his parents died? Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember the story now. Um, but uh, it's an episode, it's an episode I need to watch again. There's a lot of a couple of episodes I need to watch again. Um, you know, I'm glad we got the Hulu thing, so I can I can go back and watch them. Um, but yeah, he, and then they talk about him. And everything happened. They do the whole thing. Yeah, and they, they, they get caught up, and he saves them, and uh, he does the right thing and gives it back to Lex, the manuscript, and everything like that. And I think one of the, the best things is that at the end of the at the end of the episode. Clark asks him, asks him to stay. You know, you, you can, you know, you don't have to run the run the road. You can stay. You can be here, and you know, he offers his, you know, to stay here on the farm and, and you know, basically be a family. He has no, if you don't have a family, stay with us. And you can be a family with us, and you know, so it's it's a heartwarming, touching moment. I I, I love I love that, and not only because it was that touching moment, but also they race. And uh, the um, the Rascal Flats song is 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 behind it. And it's su it's such a great touching thing, and and it, it's wonderful. And I think it's it's a great end to to a great episode. Number three, season four, episode five, Run. Number two, season eight, episode fifteen, Infamous. Linda Lake, played by Tori Stellan, returns, threatening to reveal Clark's secret if he doesn't tell her about the red-blue blur. Refusing to be blackmailed, 
Clark tell Lois is his equal. Now I believe it was back in season six when uh, Terry Spelling had was did her Linda Lake character um, back in season six, and they had a tussle with Chloe and Lana and things like that, and and she she was defeated by by, um, by those two ladies. Um, that being said, um, when she comes back in season eight, um, she goes to threaten to threaten uh, to expose, like said, Clark. Clark says he wants to tell people a secret, so he decides to tell Lois, and Lois doesn't believe him, and he he shows her that he what, what who he is and what he's done in the past, and you know things like that. And he tells her the entire story, and as in always, when Lois Lane, when, when Clark Kent tells Lois Lane his secret, she she always goes. I guess you can't call you Small Hill anymore. And, <laughs> and uh, she does it here. She tells a story about, and then and everything is cool. You know, she, you know, he um, tells a story, and things at first starts out wonderful. You know, it starts out, you know, he's 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 lauded because he saved so many people and things like that, and it's such a wonderful. You know, thing and thing, and people seem to be, you know, in, in, enjoying to this. But as it would be, as it would be, you know, knowing, ha having everybody know your secret isn't, would, wouldn't be as great as it, you think it would be, because you can't save everybody, unfortunately, and you can't do everything. So to be a superhero and then have someone know that it is, you know, so I, I think something happens, and they couldn't, you know, and something couldn't happen, and then he, Clark, gets blamed, and everything like that. And then not only with the fact that, but you also have the guy Davis Bloom, um, who is, you know, who is the human form of the Doomsday uh, villain. Uh, he he becomes that, and he starts to look for Clark and. So then they do all of that other stuff, and then they go back. And earlier in the season, Clark received a Legion ring, you know, from from the Legion in in the future. So he uses the Legion ring to go back and do the things that, um, you know, to, to know before. You know, so instead of telling Lois his secret, he uh, he, he just goes back and he stops Linda Lake before she can write the article about the red blue bird blur. Um, and stops her and, and puts her back in jail. Um, so it, it does all of that. It, it's, it's, it's I think it's a fantastic up and down story. It tells you about the superhero life because you always want like in real life if you want to be a superhero, when do you want to tell everybody? But can't you understand that if you let everybody know who you are, you know you can't save everybody. I mean everything. I mean you think about all of the things. Now DC is one thing. Is DC. You know, D DC more than Marvel focuses on secret identities, right? Secret identities. You know, Batman and the secret identity of you know, of Bruce Wayne, Superman, secret identity of Clark Kent, Green Arrow, super identity of Oliver Queen, uh, and so much, so much more, right? Um, but Marvel, they kind of go that way, you know. Iron Man, you know it's Tony Stark. You know Captain America, Steve Rogers. You know that Thor is a god. You know, uh, and the Hulk is Bruce Banner and everything like that. They don't focus a lot on secret identities when it comes to, you know, Marvel. And you can see in Marvel that you do have those things, right? You, you know, you know, just think about the first Avengers movie, right? You know, you have people who are who are happy and, and, and glad that the Avengers were there. To stop the the um, to, you know, to, you know, to stop the alien invasion, but then you also have those people that were like, well, why, why aren't they here, you know, to clean up? Why, why, you know, they're you know they're actually the reason why we had this alien invasion. If there were no Avengers, then there wouldn't be no alien invasion, you know. So it, it's it's all all of that comes together, I think, in this episode right here, number two. Season 8, Episode 15, Infamous. And number one, the greatest episode in the history of Smallville. Season 6, Episode 11, Justice. Synopsis. In this special episode, Oliver Queen, 
the current guest star Justin Hartley, aka the Green Arrow, sent out in free enforcement. And Bart Allen, recurring guest star Cal Gowner, aka Impulse. Arthur A. C. Curry, Alan Richardson, aka Aquaman, Victor Stone, Lee, recurring guest star Lee Thompson Young, rest in peace, aka Cyborg, return to Smallville to help Oliver take down a secret loot to Corp laboratory. During a break in the vicinity, Bart is captured and tortured by Lex. But when Clark tries to rescue him, he is failed by Meteor Rock. An alarmed Chloe goes to Oliver for help, and the newly formed League springs into action to rescue Clark and Bart. Yes, and it is it is so 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 fun here, and it is it is it is so cool, and I I, I think that I wish they would have done more with this. Like I was saying, I wish that they would have done more of these episodes because this it, 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 it was just so fun, and it was so good. I love the story that they're breaking into looped up. Luther Corp facilities, you know, because of Lexus 33.1 projects. And the Flash is called, they called him, they, was, they wouldn't call him Flash, they were calling him Impulse for some reason, but whatever. Um, yeah, and you were doing the Flash, and it was just, it was, it was so, it was so cool. Um, the episode, like I said, I wish they would have done more of them. Um, but this, but this was a this was a season um, that was about um, Clark. Re, re, actually, really, actually, you know, you know, after his father passing away and everything that happened, this is Clark really, I think, focusing on what you know what he was actually here to do. And even though he wanted he wanted to do it in a certain way, he didn't want to do it the way that his maybe his father. Wanted it, or at least the way he thought his father wanted it, but he realized that he, he was here. He, he was put, he was here on this earth to, you know, to be a, a a hero. You know, to be a a a a savior to those. You know, and so he was, and 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 what happened in the season five, letting away all of the phantom from the phantom zone. You know, he had he you know he was doing that, but. He he was really big time, and I, I think I think I think it would have been cool if they would have did that, you know, if they would have went that way, you know, where you know they they, they could have been doing all of those all of those things where they could have been doing Luther Corp facilities and they could have been working on that and things like that, um, but it wasn't. Like especially like after. Uh, after uh, season seven, when uh, I think when, when 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 the whole thing with Lex fi finding the the um, the fortress and find, basically finding out about Clark and everything like that, um, I think it would have been cool if, there, if, if 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 they were doing the things where where they would have you know maybe couple, you, you need a couple episodes of. Doing this, where the entire league was, you know, was, you know, getting together. You know, Chloe became Watchtower, you know, and that's it should have been, and you know, but it, it didn't. But it was it's still is one of the great episodes. And before the stuff with the Arrowverse happened, and we started having these big monster crossovers, and then we had the. So, and so we, we had the um, we had the first one, which was just the 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 alien episode. The Dominators came came in. We had that crossover. Um, so we had that one after the whole um, Flash thing with the you know Flashpoint. Um, then the next one, the next one, the the, the um, X one, the, the World War X, or whatever the hell it's called, Planet X, with the Nazis coming from another planet. That one was that, that that one cannot be beat when it comes to television crossovers. It just can't. That, that one just can't. It, it was it was truly amazing to see. And um, so it is it is it is fantastic, and it is it is worthy of. Uh, of just all the, the kudos it's been given, and then of course we had this the past this past year um, before the um, before the pandemic we had the 
the uh, you know the one where we we, we, we find the ending to Oliver Queen. Um, we had that one. So um, so before all of those, we had this one. We had Smallville's Justice. We had the the uh, the Absolute Justice. Uh, you know, later in the season, we had a few others of of, of uh, team ups in small in, in uh, on the Smallville episode, but none compares to the number one episode of all time, season six, episode eleven, Justice. So there you have it, guys. My top ten Smallville episodes of all time, and there were so many more. There were so many more. As, as, I, as I, I I made a list of like all of these. Uh, all, all of these, you know, episodes that could have been in this top ten. We're talking about X-ray, Heat, you know, Ryan, Exodus, Spell, Blank. When Clark loses his memory and Chloe has to tell him who he is, you've got Arrival, Splinter, Splinter. We get Silver Kryptonite. He's, he's he's infected with Silver Kryptonite, which makes him paranoid. Solitude, Reckoning. Uh, that's when 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 when, when uh, that's the hundredth episode, and and Jonathan Kent dies. Um, Clark, you know, first, first of all, Lana, it was Lana who dies, and then he goes to Jarrell to make it right, and then he says that a life for a life will be taken, and it's 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 you know it's Jonathan now who, who, who dies. It's, you know, there's there's um, Green Arrow's debut in Arrow. There's you know Kara who you know. Cariel comes out. There's blue when we find out blue kryptonite. Siren when we get the um, the Black Canary. Bloodline and Blind and Legion. Oh my goodness, there's so many hex when we find out Zantana. Internal Doomsday, the season finale when Doomsday when, when, when they take Black Kryptonite and they split Davis Bloom from Doomsday, and then we Davis Bloom kills um, uh, the, the, the Jimmy Olsen. We get Roulette Idol. Where we get the uh, the Wonder Twins, Icarus. When we, th th that's the episode that get Hawk then dies, um, and then there's Booster. Uh, you know when we find Booster Gold, there were so many episodes, and there's, there's more than that. I was just trying to pick up the best of the best, but there's more than that. I tell you, this is this is the reason why this is one of the greatest shows of all time, and it, it's not just greatest superhero show. Not great, greatest drama, one of the greatest TV shows of all time. I don't think there's no declaration about that. No ifs, ands, or buts. As according to, uh, as I like to say, point blank, pair, in a discussion. Post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Is there any episodes you think I missed? Let me know down in the comment section. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Trips signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. No flights, no tights, and I am out.